Hello everyone, welcome to Duran's Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to take an image off the web, like this, and turn it into this. So to get started we will go to a website I like called uh, supercoloring.com. It's just kids coloring pages, they have lots of different products. And these items are really good for a basic line drawing of an image that you can easily convert into an SVG vectorized file that you can uh, turn into 3D images and carvings on your Vector Aspire program or whatever program you're using. In this video though, I use Vector Aspire version 11.506. All right, so let's get started. So we'll, first we'll go to supercoloring.com and if you want to just go directly to the link, it's coloring slash pages forward slash Christmas hyphen truck. All right, so uh, this is the image that I use. You would just click on it, right click, save image as, save it to where you want. And then we're gonna to go to a program uh, that converts regular images into vectors. It's called vectorizer.ai. All right, so you're gonna to go to that and you're going to, well, let's go back to the main page here. Uh, okay, so you're going to pick your image that you downloaded, and there it is. Now you can pre-crop it if you like and make it smaller, but this image is already cropped pretty good and you would just hit OK and it processes it and then once that's done you can see your final results and you can see it's a nice clean image and you would download you want to download it as an SVG and you just keep the settings the way it is hit download and then when you're done that you're gonna open up Aspire, and we're gonna create a new file. Uh, in this instance, it's just an example, so we'll make it 12 inches by 12 inches, and we'll make the thickness uh, three quarters of an inch. And everything else will do the zero position on the material surface. The X, Y datum position will be in the bottom left. And the modeling resolution, I'll set to high. That depends on your computer, how fast it is. The higher the resolution, the better the image will look after rendering. So we'll hit OK. Now we'll go up here to our menu and we will import the vector that we just created. And you can just find that. All right, so it's too big now. So what we'll do is we will go in, change the size. Now you can select whatever size you want. Your final truck ornament to be but uh, I will make it six inches wide and three inches high. Hit apply, close that, and then you can go to positioning, the alignment tool, and we'll just click on center of the board. And we'll close. All right, so now let's get started on converting this into a 3D model. Okay, first off, we're gonna click on that and we're just going to make it a little bit bigger. We want a little bit more room. And let's put that back in the center with your line tool. Alright, so that's good. You can reposition your work page using your center scroll wheel, holding it down. While you move your mouse, we'll reposition your page. All right, so now usually these, uh, when it turns these files into vectors, you gotta see that I've made um, extra lines you don't need. Sometimes it duplicates the lines, so you can just click on it. If it's not a dotted line, that means there's another line underneath. So you just delete that, click it again, Just keep deleting it until you got the dotted line. That means there's only one line there. 
and you can see it's all connected. That's why these coloring pages are, are very good because they don't have a lot of uh, excess lines and things you don't need. They're usually pretty solid and pretty simple, which is what you want for carving. And it has to be a complete connected circle. All right, so you don't need to go in and do that for each one, but uh, for the outside bordering line, you do. All right, so now we're here. Now that we're here, uh, we want to have uh, an offset line of this outside border line for cutting out the profile cut, so that we can cut out our model at the end. So we can go down to offset, and we'll offset that outwards, and we'll just go maybe. This is just an experimentation type thing. And that may be a little big. So let's control Z that. And we will go, say, four. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So to get that one out of the way for now, we can put it on a new layer. So you just right click while it's highlighted. Go to new layer and you can call it profile cut and then we will go close that out we will go up to the layers and we will hide profile cut so we're just working with our truck all right so we're going to click on the outside layer like i said whenever you get an image you have to make sure once you trace it that it's a complete, completely closed connected image or it will not work in your modeling tab. All right, so we'll go to the modeling tab with that selected and we're gonna go to split view here. So we have our 3D view and our regular view, both on the same screen. And we will go up to create a shape from a vector outline. All right, so now we have a bunch of different options here. You can have a rounded dome shape you can have a flat shape in this case we will use a flat shape and we will keep it at add to previous components and we'll hit apply and you can see what we have over here there's no height to it yet so you can adjust the height and we have we can go as much as 0.375 so you just decide of the board that you've the thickness of the board you're using, how much you want uh, of that to be the final 3D shape. So let's go somewhere in, in here. Okay. All right, so we'll hit apply. You always have to hit apply. Uh, now, now's a good time to name your components. So we'll call this the truck body. And we'll hit apply again. And we will start a new component. And in this case, we are going to select everything except for the outside box. So you hit shift on your keyboard and select the outside box and then it's unselected. So we're gonna hit apply and you can see we have the shape we want for the truck, but it's uh, too, too big. So we will bring this down the base height and that's this a preference thing, how thick you want it. Or you can adjust it using the numbers here. How about we go to 0 0.01. And that just gives you a bit of an outline. And you always hit apply. And don't forget to name it. So we'll call this the detail. And hit apply again. All right, so we can close that out. All right, so now we're gonna go over to our material setup. And in this case, we're just gonna use the finish 3D pass. It allows you to do your material setup to the start. Everything looks good there. 
You can lower that if you want so that uh, you're starting lower in the board. Everything looks good there. All right, so where do we want to cut from? Well, we want to cut from a selected vector. And we're going to use that box that we made bigger. Then we're going to pick our tool we want to use. I think we'd be better off using a 1 8 ball nose. And we can keep everything else the same. Hit calculate. And preview all tool paths. And that is what you'll get. Now if you wanted, uh, you could go in and make a hole. So you can hang the ornament. Oh. got to remove that so you want to remove that clearing pass calculate reset preview tool path and then there you go now you can see how long that's going to take by going to your time that's going to take one hour so that's quite a bit let's see if uh, bringing back that other tool, the larger one, will make a difference. So you go to the ball mill, ball nose, quarter inch, calculate, preview it, looks the same. And let's check our time. Yeah, that, not a lot, but that speeds it up a little bit. You're at 29 minutes for the quarter inch and another 23 minutes for the one eighth inch ball nose. Now we could try deleting that and going back in and seeing how it looks with just the thicker quarter inch ball nose. So we remove the one eighth, calculate it, reset. Uh, you're kind of losing the detail in there. It's too big to get in around the tree. We'll add it back in. Bono's one eighth. Reset. Uh, let's delete all that. We'll start over. Okay, so we got the quarter inch ball nose as a first pass, and then we got the one eighth ball nose as a finishing pass. We got the selective vector, and we'll hit, we'll hit calculate, reset. Yeah, there's a little area in there that I didn't get, but it's cleared up that so. You definitely want to use the 1 8 ball nose on this particular model at this size. Uh, as you resize the model to what size you want it, you have to just go in and see what tools you have to need. Sometimes you, if it gets to be a really small model, you'll have to go into the 1 16th inch ball nose. But it depends on the model and the size. So our final time is under an hour. So that is how you would take an image from the internet and make it into a 3D model. Now, like I said, you could also add a hole. You could drill that afterwards if you wanted, but you can do that on the machine. You just go in, add a circle. Just pick a spot where you think be best probably in the window. And you can adjust it to where you want it. Now you 
would go back to your tools path. And we would do I think a profile would work. You want to make sure you go right through. You can edit your passes if nine's too many. Probably want to do well, five is plenty for this thickness. We either want to go on the inside or go on the tool. Let's do inside. Calculate. All right, so the tool can't fit in there. So we want to use a smaller tool. We'll use a 1 8th end mill. And that works. Preview. And there you go. Okay, so now we need to cut out the actual model itself. So we'll go back to our 2D and we will bring back the layer for the profile cut. Select that, go back to our tooling and we will pick a profile tool path and we're going to need to use the 1 8th end mill so we can get in here. It's too many passes, so you can uh, bring that down a little bit. It's up to you and your machine how quickly you think you can go through the wood. So you can add tabs if you like, but I'll show you without the tabs. And you just want to make sure you click on the outside for the path. Hit calculate. And we will preview. And there you go. You have your finished model. You would just send that to your machine and cut it out. I'll have a video of us actually painting these models and uh, setting up the machine and cutting it in our next video. So be sure to watch that. Make sure you subscribe and like and comment if you did like this video. That sure help us uh, keep doing these videos for you and we'll see you next time.